We have an absolute screamer of a bull market. The day after Powell announced the pause on interest rates, I made another 31000 on the stocks I own, which are mostly artificial intelligence related, although I, I'm starting to widen out uh, to broader uh, stocks to try to get a little bit more diversification because I believe the technology stocks are going to pull the other stocks up. And, and so the bulls are running wild. This is a screaming market. Uh, I plan to, to hang on and unless something crazy happens. I think we have a bull market for a while here. And I'm going to show you why, as well as giving you the lowdown on how much I've been making on these stocks. Hang on. I am Dr. Stephen Fox. These are my personally selected stocks. This is not financial advice as I do not know your personal situation. And wouldn't you know it, the stock that I've made the most money on in the last month has been C3AI, whose symbol is AI. How many stocks would die to have that as their symbol now, AI? I've made $33,000 on it. And this is a very solid stock. It was put out there and portrayed as just hype. And it's not, it's anything but hype. They actually have a contract with the Department of Defense. Uh, other corporations are buying it. They have a product that does everything, inventory control, uh, maintenance, uh, predictive functions, uh, they d even do energy management, uh, and they do fraud detection. Uh, you know, they were trying to make fun of Kroger for mentioning artificial intelligence in their, uh, in their earnings report. Why wouldn't Kroger use, uh, use their services, a grocery store? They have a huge inventory. They want to detect fraud. They want to do maintenance on their facilities, predictive type. Uh, they, they want to use all the services that this stock is, is offering. And it's run by a veteran. Tom Siebel, he goes back to the 80s, I believe. Uh, I know him from Siebel Systems, which he sold to Oracle in 2006, and now he's a billionaire. So you have an expert in software who, who's found a way to provide everything these companies could want. What is better than that? The next company I've made a lot on in the last month is Broadcom, AVGO. I've made $15,400. Uh, these figures are rounded off to the nearest hundred. And this is a basic internet uh, infrastructure software stock. Plus they do artificial intelligence chips. Uh, th th this is a long-term hold. Uh, this has been a long-term hold for a while now, and I'm going to keep holding on. I've made $14,700 on Tesla in the last month. Hey, <laughs> teaching a car to drive. Yeah, that's a lot of artificial intelligence. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's always a long-term hold. I'm a long-term day trader. I've traded in and out of Tesla. I've made like six or 700,000. I'm not keeping score that much. I'm keeping round figures in my head. Uh, and I, you know, that's what you do when you're a type of trader I am. I'm interested in the company and I go in and out of it. And r r lately, Tesla has just been on a tear and it will continue going up. And then a long term favorite is Super Microcomputer SMCI. 
Uh, I've made about 11,900 in the last month, but that's not all I've made on this stock. I've traded in and out of this stock ever since it was worth 80 or 90 dollars, and it's well like 240 or something dollars now. It's hard to keep track of. It just keeps going up. So I just keep holding it, and I'm going to keep on holding this and making money on it. And it's an artificial intelligence stock in the sense that it provides complex servers, uh, which AI needs. Bell Fuse Incorporated, whose symbol is B-E-L-F-B, uh, I've made about 11100 And this is a recent purchase. Uh, this is a stock that's been down, and now it's just been coming back with a vengeance. And I'm going to hang on to it. And actually, I see this as a little bit of diversification. Uh, so I'm hanging on to BELFB. And then I've made about $8,900 on TECL, which is a triple leverage fund on the Russell 1000 technology stocks. So you get some of the smaller technology uh, stocks in there. And uh, I love uh, triple leverage stocks, especially when it's a bullish market for technology. I've made about $8,200 on NVIDIA, symbol NVDA, and this has been the leader of this rally. They're selling chips for ten dollars to $30,000 and have virtually no competition except for AMD Advanced Micro Devices, which I'm starting to invest in. Uh, but I'm going to hang on to NVDA. This is the leader of the pack. It's, it's the, the engine of artificial intelligence. I've made $8,100 on TQQQ, uh, which is uh, the triple leveraged uh, fund on the QQQ. For each dollar that the QQQ goes up, you make uh, $3. The QQQ is the 100 largest uh, companies on the NASDAQ, and this triples your leverage on that. So you get triple uh, the amount of gains when it's going up. And man, has it been going up. A very recent purchase is my old friend Intel. I've made a lot of money on this stock over the years. I know this stock well. I, I've made about, I've owned it for maybe a week to 10 days, somewhere in there. I, I've already made $4,100. Yeah, I think I'll keep that one. I've invested in Technoglass Incorporated, whose symbol is TGLS. I've made $4,000 on Technoglass Incorporated, and they make uh, glass and window products for the construction industry. The construction industry has been doing very well, thank you. We are not in a recession. The idea we're in a recession or going towards one is a joke, uh, just <laughs> so you have that in mind. Uh, so this is a, an attempt at diversification, and I'm going to hold on to it. I've made $3,800 on Extreme Networks, whose symbol is EXTR. And they make sophisticated and extreme <laughs> network software. And they also make network equipment that is needed for artificial intelligence. So you can think of this as an extremely sensitive uh, network company for artificial intelligence. I've made $3,300 on Oracle, whose symbol is O-R-C-L. Uh, this company goes back to the day, right? It's been in business a while. I actually invested in it because Maverick of Wall Street on YouTube here uh, recommended it as one of the more reasonable artificial intelligence stocks. He's not really into it, but if you were going to invest in artificial intelligence, he thought this was probably one of the more reasonable ones. So I, I did, and I benefited from it. I've only owned it about a week. I made 3100 on a very recent purchase of GitLab, whose symbol is GTLB. Google owns 3% of this company, and part of what they do is they do boilerplate and coaching of co computer coders so that they can do their work much faster. It takes care of the boring stuff uh, that coders have to deal with so that they can focus more on the creative and important parts of their endeavors.
and I've made $3,000 on Microsoft. Good old softy, whose symbol is MSFT. Of course, uh, they've integrated chat GPT into their Bing browser and created quite a stir. <laughs> and so they're at the forefront of artificial intelligence. And it gave us a good reason why, why they're sort of the number two stock in the stock market in many ways. I made $2,700 on a very recent purchase of installed business products, IBP. And this company makes things that all houses need, uh, shelving, uh, cabinets, insulations, uh, rain gutters, <laughs> uh, all the, the kinds of things every house will need. And so they have a, a broad market and I plan to hold it. And it's, this is part of my efforts at diversification. I figured I had better own a semiconductor company. Uh, that's the new oil of the world right now. We all need semiconductors. And I, I've invested on and off in on semiconductor for years, whose symbol is on, O-N. And I've made about $2,700 on it. Uh, so this is one I don't worry about. I just kind of keep it in the portfolio. ST Microelectronics is an electronics company and semiconductor manufacturer. They make semiconductors uh, for practical things. And, and I think a lot of it is, car, is cars, uh, semiconductors for cars. So it's very applied and practical semiconductors. Uh, and so I'm trying to diversify a little bit out on this one. And I've made about $2,500 on STM so far. I've made about 2300 on Insight Enterprises, whose symbol is NSIT, and uh, they consult with businesses and with governments to help them set up their information technology systems. I've made about $1,800 in Palantir, whose symbol is PLTR. I've owned this stock at different times. The uh, last time I owned it, I sold at 24 and, so, and then it went down a bunch. When it started coming back, I thought it, I, I better jump up on board because it looks like they truly are artificial intelligence. The only problem is, is that most of their profits goes to the employees. So your shares are constantly diluted by the employees. They claim that's getting to be less and less of a problem. So I'm taking them up on that. I'm going to follow it a while. But if things go south, I'll be getting out of it. But for now, I'm hanging on. I've made $1,300 on JPM, which is JP Morgan, which is where I bank at. <laughs> so uh, it's the dominant bank. It's the, the largest bank in the country. It's uh, who the government turns to to bail out these other banks. And so they make all kinds of money when other banks fail. Plus, a lot of people go towards them because they know they're going to be the last to fail, if ever. In fact, they'll probably succeed before the U.S. government does, although that might be an exaggeration. A very recent purchase is Advanced Micro Devices. And again, this is the only competition, really, that NVIDIA has and NVDA uh, has. So I, I feel like it's a must-have must stock. I've made about $300 in it so far and plan to hold it. I love solar stocks, and they're kind of dancing around. They go back and forth. Uh, they're going to catch fire sometime. I, I don't know when. I've only made about $200 on Canadian solar, which is CSIQ. I, I plan to hold on to it. Uh, I have a certain amount into it. Uh, not too big of a stake, uh, and we will see where it goes. Uh, I, I love the idea of solar panels, how much money it saves me living in Arizona. Arizona, I'm living in, in an ideal place for solar power, and it saved me so much money. Towards the bottom of the list uh, is sort of a surprise to me, uh, Google, uh, whose symbol is G-O-O-G-L, uh, that the, its parent company is Alphabet. 
And I think this is a long-term stock. I'm not really worried about it. I, I think I bought a certain amount. I'm just going to let it set. It, it's, it's a mega cap. And again, it will have its day. It's, it's resting for a while. They got to catch up uh, to Microsoft uh, with their Baird uh, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, and they will. It's just a matter of time. The next one is really difficult for me. Uh, I can I can hardly say it that I actually lost money in a roaring bull market. Uh, it was an attempt to branch out. I think it's still going to uh, pull out. It's it's Sterling Infrastructure, whose symbol is S T R L, and they do uh, infrastructure. Uh, construction and rehabilitation as well as they do residential construction. Uh, so I think they're going to benefit from the in infrastructure bill, which is extends out over 10 years. And I, I think it's going to benefit from that. And just the, the home builders and construction has been doing really well, which you don't see in a recession. Uh, so the idea that we're going to have a recession is nonsense. If it was going to happen, it would have already happened. And I've lost $500 on this, but I think I'll recover somehow. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown uh, on uh, what's shaking in this exciting market. I haven't been this excited uh, since uh, 2020. So it's good to have these feelings back again. I, I think we're on a roll. I think it can continue. I'm waiting for the technology stocks to pull the other stocks up, uh, which will validate this as a bull market. Thanks for listening and watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, and I will hope to see you in the next one. I hope I can be of benefit uh, to you if it fits your situation. It's not financial advice because I don't know your situation. Uh, this is what I'm doing uh, and if you can make use of it, fine. If you can't, well, that's fine too.